All right, guys, we're back with Lance, and we got some special guests. We do. We got the decision maker. We do. My wife. The wife. Asleep. The okay. wife. And well, let's be honest, the real decision maker. Yeah, the real. All right, be before, be guys, before we were, uh, we go to the awesome poster, the special poster that happened. Uh, Maddie has some words to you guys about giving your children magic cards as investments. Go ahead, Maddie. Tell us. Give your kids all your stuff. Don't, don't, don't sell, sell it. it. Let your kids sell it. <laughs> <laughs> give them the money. It's the, it's the most beautiful thing you could give to your children besides life. Have you ever played yeah. magic? Yes. You have? Yeah, I have my own deck. It was you black have. and blue. Reese! The there son he is. Is. I've returned for a Wait, while. Reese Reese decided that he now wants half ownership of this painting. We're gonna cut it in half. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna cut it in half. That's mine. I get the bigger. What do you guys think about your cool dad and the my, decision? My what now? Cool dad? No, he's, he's a cool dad. Cool. Yeah, what was yeah, look at his compliments. You're, he's look at his compliments. I love you. I love you too. And your magic collection, that's worth a lot of money. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yeah. Everybody, please tell the comments. Teenage teenage yeah, kids. Yeah. This is yeah. Teenagers love Magic the Gathering. It's their favorite thing. They'll mm. never say it. Are you a sales? She's a good salesman. Uh, she she so, talks like yeah. she talks a lot. Okay, good, that's good. <laughs> so 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 no, be honest though. Be honest. We were talking about this. Um if your dad really spent a lot of time on this collection. Um, it, sometimes we talk about legacy, keeping nostalgic things. If your dad says, hey, look, I want this to be in our family for a while, you guys would respect that, right? It's important, yes. correct? Look at mom. That's a yes with a question mark. Right? Well, it's a yes unless it's a you know, yes. times get desperate. If I'm like... Well, if money, yeah. Part. Well, then sell the Fallen Empires box for God's sakes first, <laughs> right? I mean, sell... Okay, I'm saying my advice as a business person, sell everything other than the thing that really is special, right? You can sell everything. Right, you see what I'm saying? That's what I would do, right. A lot of people sell, like, something really expensive because it's easy to do. You sell the thing that really doesn't mean, you know, mean much. Like, some of these yeah. packs and cards... I mean, Lance, right? These yeah. don't mean that much at all, right? 98% per, of it means nothing. Right. You know, they're just cards to play with. It's the 2% of the cool stuff that I really, you know, it it's means something to me. Very sentimental. Yep. All right, let's look at something cool. These are posters. Explain to me what's going on. What's going okay, on? so back in the day uh, when Alpha and Beta were out, there was a company on the East Coast that... Uh, you guys are helping, by the way. A charity that had produce these sets of uh, posters. Three laminated posters per set. And I picked up a few of these um, up in Tacoma at a, a comic book store called O'Leary's Books. And it looks like they got them in April of 94. They were going for 36.95. I've got two of them left. That's expensive, actually. It was expensive. Yeah, because you could get a Black Lotus for 50 bucks. Right. You were saying. <laughs> so I'm going right? to no, open one of these. $5,000 or uh, nothing? <laughs> Which would you like? <laughs> so we'll take a look at what the posters were like. That's so weird, isn't it? Like back in the day, like these type of things were still worth something. And they didn't go up in value the same level as the cards. No. But this was, uh, so this was company on the East Coast produced these. Oh. Um, what do you guys get like a little napkin? He's bleeding. A little bit, yeah. Bruh! Here we go. See all that talk. Solution. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Maddie. Yeah, there. I'm here. <laughs> See? Better daughter deserves <laughs> all this. You love me so much. I Are you do you work in sales or are you like a like like what do you do for work? You I work? won't need to work in sales after this, man. She's good. I have the Royal Assassin. <laughs> Right? Guys, guys, guys. I need a job. <laughs> okay. That's funny. So here we go. Um, oh, off, yes, yes. I've seen this little thing here. This is... Oh, yes. What they produced. This yes, the Charity Fellowship. Okay. The first actual licensed... I have this. You have a copy I of this? I have this, but I've never... I don't think I've seen that. So... Maybe, uh, maybe I have it, but I don't know where it is. All right, let's... Guys, help me out. Oh! So there's three of these posters. Here, Maddie, you want to grab one? Yeah, spread, yeah. There, you guys each do one. Here, Reese. Oh, there's more. So there's commons, rare, so 
Because Maddie is so common, she's gonna hold the common. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, actually, actually, guys, no, no, actually, guys, I was wrong. This is red, white, so that has nothing to do with common. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so this is a, so explain what happened here. So, uh, a company on the East Coast produced these posters. They got a full set of Alpha and Beta, so there's even uh, copies of Alpha and Beta, you can see on some of them, like, uh, protection from red and stuff like that, where there are differences in the cards, or the Orcish Aura Flame, you can see the two copies there. Um, That's weird, two copies. And then they, so they produced uh, about a thousand or twelve hundred of these posters, but it turned out that the charity, apparently there were some questions there's, about the charity. No um, it was a scam? It seemed like it was a bit of a scam, a charity for, for the guy himself. Um, <laughs> but it was the first officially licensed Magic the Gathering product. This was the first licensed product. First licensed, licensed product. product. Licensed by, Third by party. Watsy. And it was, so you said it was a thousand print run, but it was cut off. Yeah, it says here a thousand. I think there might have been 1,200. Um, and what do you think was the cutoff, do you think? I, I really don't know. So maximum of a thousand, but yeah. so basically this guy was scamming. It's 35,000 for yep. charity, but he really went to the casino. Something like that. <laughs> wow. You know, and so these are great. <laughs> There's not a lot of them out there. She should be on Comedy Central. Uh -huh. um, Someone watching this, please put on Comedy Central, for God's sake. So I've still got one, I've got a full set here okay. and another sealed one. I just opened this. I need your guys' help. How much is this thing worth? Because I actually don't know what it's worth, but I've seen these now before. I think I have so, a few too. I think these might be going up on the wall now. They're laminated. But probably in her room. Yeah. Maddie, I'm your room? How much are these worth, man? Enough? <laughs> Where's the black? Oh, the black's over there. Oh, the black Royal Assassin. Yeah, give her that one. Yeah, the Royal Assassin one. Where's Where the Assassin? All right, great. So, uh, real quick, uh, Lance, why did you not, well, or did you teach them magic? Uh, you know, I got to be honest. Uh, yeah. When my oh, you, son... You don't have to hold that anymore, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, when Reese, for sure. when Reese was younger, um, yeah, I tried to get him into magic a yeah. little bit. See, this is why I'm the better sibling. Dad! Just... Dad's <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So, I tried to get Reese and Maddie into magic a little bit, but, uh, you know, because of the, their age, they were much more into Pokemon. And so, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> sorry, Laugh but I, you are, I would... Buddy. You play Pokemon? <laughs> Pokemon, excuse me. Pokemon. I so back in the day, crazy. they when they were small children, they really liked Pokemon, and so I would go and go to the card shops, and I would take like a card, and say, "Here, I've got this card. Can I exchange it for credit?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, you can exchange it for credit." And I just like bone up on a bunch of Pokemon, like, Pokemon stuff, for them. So you're in college, and she's in first grade. Well, I mean, what is going on? <laughs> So, so who's the older? Who's the older one? She's the older one. Okay. I'm 38. <laughs> I look really Guys, good 38 right years old. Yeah, <laughs> right. What a search for me. Talk. She's a comedy. Yeah. All right. So that's so. So they never were into magic, basically. Yeah, you tried to teach yeah, me yeah, yeah. magic too. I wasn't. I yeah. Was not a fan. No. I, I tried to teach my wife magic. She didn't really like. She didn't. You know what my wife that's was like. Cool. She was basically like she'll try it. That's but then like in Monopoly, for example, she didn't want to play and yeah. she just gave us her properties. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. She would give them for free. She was like, donation. I'm like, well, that's not the point of the game. I'm like, oh, you know, here's a $500 bill. You're nicer to me. So here's 500 bucks. Go ahead. Free parking, whatever. Yeah. So, so for you guys, gaming wasn't the same passion as his. That's, yeah. that's the main thing. Yeah. I think Reese has got a passion for uh, computer gaming. I did pass oh, yeah. that along to him. Like Diablo? What, what do you play? Everything. Super Mario taught if you him name to read. It, I probably played it. But you never, but never into mag ma magic, like magic stuff, like card games. You play with your friends a little bit, a little bit. Well, you know, if you played, you know, played a few games, it, you know, it's pretty addicting. It's pretty addicting. It's a pretty cool game. Well, that's great. Well, thanks for sharing, guys. So, uh, just sh uh, again, I'm gonna have a total. I think we did three videos plus this one. Uh, there's videos about the Raven Knights packs. Obviously, Maddie's uh, retirement. Uh, AKA Royal Assassin. Uh, I'm sure Reese and, and Maddie are gonna have to do some type of uh, negotiations on that. Uh, alpha, Alpha, Beta cards, Arabian Nights. Uh, great stories. I mean, this is like uh, I've I've seen like every type of collection, but uh, this is a heartfelt opportunity because I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm a collector just like you, yeah. and I'm people call us hoarders. 
And I'm not, no, no, it's true. I'm, yeah, I would call my husband a hoarder. <laughs> in, in a weird way, I'm also a hoarder also. And um, I've been to a lot of people's homes, but this guy right here, I'm very, very like, it's an amazing opportunity to meet someone who loves magic and collecting. See, I have a 10 year old and they act exactly the same. Do they? They're yeah. playing swords and stuff. I mean, uh -huh. I'm, trying to do a, I'm trying to do a heartfelt message and they're just <laughs> whacking around with this, the, the posters. <laughs> what, what if it was like $10,000? Those are your investments. Yeah. Yeah, what are, yeah, what's up with that? I'm Quality. Winning. Huh? I'm winning. You're I'm winning. winning. <laughs> no, but seriously, it, all BS aside, I've had an amazing opportunity. Um, I think I'm, we're also going to help. Uh, uh, Get these car some of these cards graded and these packs graded. Um, find some special way to preserve them. And oh, by the way, before we leave, this is freaking amazing, right? This little sheet here is the original. But I'm running out of battery, guys. The original Alpha Set painting guide. How much they cost? Let's go through the damn list. Oh, basalt monolith, two hundred eighty dollars. Uh, I'll take five of those. <laughs> um, now, Anson Maddox, guys, was very expensive, about $1,000, but uh, family, I want to tell you guys what these are, paintings are worth, just to let you know. For example, Mana Vault, $455, I actually own that, it's probably worth uh, $125,000 now. My wow. goodness. U.S., yeah. Wow. So this is probably worth a lot. Um, there's a lot of paintings here. Um, actually, the one that's missing here is Black Lotus, was at $600 or so back in the day, right? Yeah. That was missing. Yeah. There's some incredible paintings here, guys. Arabian Nights paintings. Look at this. Uh, the Shahrazad, back in the day, was $1,000. It just sold on auction in Heritage for $72,000. My goodness. With, a, right. with the 20% buyer's premium. That's a beautiful piece. Yeah. And there's just antiquities. Uh, guys, I'm going to have to borrow this, and uh, I'll have to photocopy this. I know I have it. I just want to photocopy it. Freaking awesome. Isn't that incredible? Oh. What is it? That was, I mean, just directly from them back in, what, 94? I'll try to cover your information. Nah, it's not current. It was incomplete anyway. There you go, it's guys, 94. <laughs> Does this make you kind of, like, uh, emotional? No, be honest. Like, kind of, kind of, like, I, 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 like I, see, I see your face kind of really kind of getting... You know, I've had this for a long time, um, and I, you know, I have no intentions on doing really much with it except for trying to preserve it and, you know, share it. Uh, you know, I'd love a way to share the Royal Assassin with people so that they can appreciate it. I just don't know how to go about doing that, you know? Well, there's actually, we're thinking about doing an art, like a non-sport art gallery. Um, I'll, I'll invite you to my place, you okay. know, we'll do something cool, but um, there are some serious collectors out there that are thinking about doing like a, sh a show that travels. Yeah. Because I'm gonna pass, because I'm all about yeah. the legacy too. And there's a couple things that I have that are just one of ones that I would like to pass down to the museum or something. Right. Whatever museum that happens, right? You exactly. know, the, you know, the Seattle EMP actually has a museum uh, for magic display. I didn't know that. They recently have a dis That's cool. a display at the Space Needle. I think we're gonna. No, have to go no, 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 no. I'm not no, kidding. There's absolutely. alpha test prints, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that, but no, no, no. But I like guys. Do you hear what you just said? This is probably going to go to a museum and not to some teenagers. I think that's smart. <laughs> I think that's a smart move. What do you guys think? <laughs> Whatever my dad wants. Wait, I love it. I have it on record forever. We need to All right, Lance, thanks again for your time, man. Really? All right, wave goodbye, everybody. Bye. All right, goodbye. Goodbye, Royal Salsa. Goodbye.